Sam the Fruga Hooga Gardener. I'm standing here in front of one of my banana plants. This is a ladyfinger banana plant. And I'm going to do another separating sucker or pups from my ladyfinger banana plant. Now, when I go around the property, I don't just like do videos. What I do is I'm doing my work. I'm doing, you know, I'm farming. What I would be doing today off camera is separating a couple suckers so I could pot them because it's starting to get cooler out. We're going to have a winter and I want to get these in the ground in the spring. So I want the corms to form roots to fill up the pot. Meanwhile, you've seen some other videos where I planted some of the lady fingers. Well, I have some good pups on here. They get into the size where they need to be removed. So let's go ahead and I'm going to give you a nice video on how to separate pups or suckers from a banana plant. Now I'm going to get down and dirty in there with an LED light. That way you can see close up what I'm doing. Now I have a feed bag. The feed bag has like a wax paper. It's got plastic and another paper. So I could go ahead and kneel down on that so I don't get all dirty and the ants or whatever don't start biting me. I have an LED light. I have some tools that I'm going to use. And these are the suckers I'm going to remove right here. When I removed the other ones last time, that one and that one was too small. But when I separate these now, I'm going to separate all four of those right now. Now on this side, where I separated just the other day, you can see right here is a new sucker coming in. So let me get set up and I'll show you how to separate a sucker from a banana plant, which anybody that grows bananas, eventually you're going to have to remove some suckers. Okay, so the first thing I did was I ripped up and removed some of the creeping weeds that were growing and I gave them to my chickens in there they eaten them so right down over here with my LED light I'm gonna dig this out and get under the corn and give you a close-up view but first let me go ahead and remove I'm going to remove some leaves. These are going to be fed to my chickens. Okay, so it's okay to remove leaves and the reason why I remove leaves because I want the camera to get a good view but it's food for my chickens and when you go to pot these you don't need you don't need all these leaves on there and some of them are gonna break anyway when I lay them down and go to pot them so I don't waste anything my chickens take them <laughs> they they peel them like that and they suck it down like spaghetti I got videos of that it's really cool so anyway here you go one two three four let me see if I could successfully separate all of them together we'll see how that goes I might have to do two and two I won't know until I dig down in there and start separating. So let's see how that goes. So remember, the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and get in between over here and pull the compost away like this.
and this is basically like a cobra it gets in and you could pull and it really doesn't hurt the roots because you're pulling away not sideways so let me go ahead and finish this and I'll show you how it went okay so with the light I'm gonna shine it down here and show you what it all looks like so let me get the camera okay so if you look you can see I dug down low you can see the suckers you can see the roots you can see all the way around okay great and the reason why I did that there was actually a sucker there and a sucker there real small coming out we'll see those later you know like a little piece came off okay so right over here you can see I got the roots so I can see the parent plant you can see that the parent plant is not round it's going inward that's the corm here's that other sucker I didn't want to touch but you see this is attached really close right here and that corm or that sucker is attached with hardly any space right there can you see that so I have to get in between there okay and then from the other side this big sucker you could cut it right there but I want to go ahead and get it right in between here and try to remove one two three four remove all of those together okay so I want to try to get this sucker this sucker this sucker and this sucker all off together and I'll clean it up and show you what that looks like but it's a real tight fit in there if you try to use a shovel back there like this you're probably gonna cut some of that corn off okay so this is my all-time favorite chopper see it's angled if you take the flat side and you turn it around and you put the flat side towards the suckers it's gonna go down and come out and catch the corn but if you turn it this way with the flat side up against the parent plant and the angle this way when it goes down it's gonna push under the parent plant because the parent plant doesn't go straight down it doesn't bow out it's curving under so I want to remove those from the parent plant okay so I want to give you a close-up view I'm gonna put my light right here so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better now I'm gonna place this right right there and I'm gonna give it some taps okay Give it a couple more right here. Okay. Now, give it get a, a little bit right there. Get a little bit different angle. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to put my light here so you can see what's going on. I'm going to take the chopper and try to come in right here on an angle. That looks good. You see all of them moving. Okay, I don't want to go down too far, but I'm going to get me a, another grip. right there 
So you can see right here, I went ahead and came in on an angle. I'll remove the chopping block and you can see it right there, they're all moving. That looks like a nice clean cut. Okay, so now I want to remove this whole bunch right here. So watch how I do it. Okay, so if I put a shovel like this down in there, it's wide. I got no leverage. So this is a pipe digging shovel. You see the contour? If I get this and push this down under the corn right here, like this, and lift, you see how it lifts the corn? That's going to pull up on the corn like that real nicely and get the whole thing out. See how that's leverage? It just lifted it. Okay, so this was a removal of... Oh, let me see if I can lift it. Well, so this was a complete removal of four corms, meaning four suckers, and there's some other corms and suckers forming coming out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off so you can see what it all looks like underneath all that dirt. And then we're gonna have to go ahead and surgically remove these four from each other. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so first, you can see how it's a nice clean cut, and it's going inward. See, if I went down straight with a shovel, okay, so you know online, everybody says do it with a shovel. Now look, if I went straight down with a shovel like this, I'm going to come over here and show you. Let me move this. Okay, if I came straight down like this with a shovel, look, that shovel is straight. Do you see that gap down in there? Look at that gap. It's about, I could put my fist in there. Let me show you. Look, I could put my fist down in there. Do you see that? This is straight. That's a big gap. I would have missed all of that corn right there because the corn connected to the parent plant. So instead, I went in on an angle like that. You see that angle? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bury this back in. You can see the sap dripping down there. But I'm gonna go ahead and bury this back up. That way the roots don't get too much air on them. Okay, so you can see this whole area. I moved all that compost back down in there. I didn't hurt or touch that new sucker coming out. So that's what that looks like. I left a good sucker on over here. So this is going to grow. And this will be the replacement to that. This one's going to come in. So there'll be one, two suckers on this ladyfinger banana plant. That will go ahead and replace that sometime. So that leaves us to this right over here. I have one, two, three, four, four suckers. And if you look here, here's a sucker coming out. And I know there's another one. So let me go ahead and clean this off. And you can see what all this looks like before I go ahead and surgically dissect it. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to clean this up for you. Just gonna hose it real good, a little bit of pressure. Okay, so let me finish hosing this off and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I cleaned it all off. Just so you can see the roots. You can see that corn coming out. And you can see what the plant looks like. Okay. A few weeks ago, I cut a corn. This is the side that's away from... The parent plant that side is towards the parent plant 
a few weeks ago right over here I cut a sucker off this is where I cut it off and some new ones started growing out so I'm gonna flip this over and we can see the side that was facing the plant okay so I'm gonna gently turn this over okay So this is the sucker that's coming out towards the front. The parent plant was right here. You can see right here this was attached to the parent plant and I cut it. This was attached to the parent plant. And then these were growing off of this big corm right here. So what I want to do here, see this, this here was attached to the parent plant and so was this. Now this little section here came out and developed this big corm. Out of this corm is this sucker, this sucker, and that sucker. This sucker right here, it was attached to the parent plant. So that's dissecting it and that's what's going on over here. So what I wanna do now is I wanna go ahead and remove this one this one and this one and on the other side there's one so I want to separate those into four okay so here I'm standing it up this right here was against the parent plant so I came down right here and I cut this right here I separated this one and I went down further and I separated this which removed this whole section because this was growing from that corn this was growing from that corn this was coming from the parent plant now if i turn this around this is coming from the bottom corn right there and this sucker is coming out of the bottom corn so there's a lot going on over here and I want to separate them. It's going to be fun. And it's not going to be easy. Okay, so I have a machete. I'm going to clean this off. I have some fungicide and a knife and some scissors. So let me, let me sterilize these and we'll go ahead and dissect this. Okay, so... The first thing I did was clean this off. I sterilized everything. I looked it over. And I want to go ahead and remove this one right here first. So let me attempt to do that. And I say attempt because this is pretty tricky right here. At least it's going to be. So I want to get this to go right down in here. Okay. Okay, it's kind of moving with my hand right here. So maybe I don't have to, maybe I don't have to use this. I could just separate it maybe. Oh, the camera's in my way. Okay, great. There it is. That separated right there. Do you see that? That was nice. Okay, let me leave this here for a second. Let me move it there. We'll get back to that one. Okay, now let's see what we got here. If I bring this in closer, what do I want to do here? Okay, that one. Okay, I'm going to try to remove this. This one's onto this bottom one over here. But it's itself, it's a corn. Okay, I think I'm going to try to use the knife on this one. And then I'm going to come in right here. OK, 
Okay. Okay, I got this cut right there. Now I'm going to come in this way. Right here and cut it. Okay, here we go. I just went ahead and cut this off. And I left this sucker on right here. Do you see that? This is going to be two plants. Let me separate that there. And now, what are we looking at here? We're looking at this big corm down here. Then we have this one and this one attached. So let me remove these two and we'll be left with this. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Okay, so I'm going to try to take this right here off, separate it. Okay, right there. Now you can see right here, I just separated this one. So this is a nice removal. And look at this. Here's a sucker. Here's a sucker. And here's a sucker. And here's a sucker. Boy, there's three on that little one. And so right here, what do we got? We have this sucker connected to this corm that I separated last time. And here's the corm. And here's the, uh, the sucker. You can see it, it's attached. See this moving? It's attached right there. So what I want to do is I want to get in here and give that a cut right here. I just removed that from this sucker right over here. You see that? Now this is a nice corm. This is where it would go this way. I removed this way. I removed the sucker last time. This grew out and this grew out into those. And now I remove this corm. This corm right here, here's a sucker coming out. That's probably a sucker. And there'll be other ones that form. So I want to clean this up and dissect it. And I could probably cut it this way and that way into four or eight pieces and have four to eight lady fingers. I don't know what I want to do right now. I think I just plant the whole thing in the ground like this. And these will all start growing. So let me clean these off. Right here. I got that one. That one. That one. And that one. And that corm. Okay, I got to keep washing my hands in between. But you see where I'm going. I separated all those real delicately. Sort of like a, a doctor, a surgeon with a scalpel. I did some surgery. And by taking my time, I tried to figure out which one I could separate first. And I got all those off. And I have a nice corm there that I'm going to plant that has no growth on it. But it's living, sort of like a bulb. And when I plant it and water it, it will grow a couple suckers out of that one. So this is a good example of how to remove four suckers that have grown out of a parent plant. Instead of struggling to get one or the other and damaging one or two, I got all of them off. And then I dissected them. So let me hose those off, clean them up, and I'll get back to you and we'll see what they all look like. Okay, so these are all cleaned up. I got some fungicide. I got a little bowl. Got a brand new clean towel. I used my knife to separate them. So this is a corm right over here. 
This is just a corm, no growth. You can see where I separate it. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up just a little bit like this. Don't need all those roots on there because it's not supporting a big plant. So I'm just going to clean that up. Now, just so you know, you could take the roots like this and you could cut them all the way down. See how I'm cutting the roots off? You could do that. You could just cut them all the way off just like that. And what this allows you to do this allows you to clean this up and to soak it and get it nice and clean. Now this you can wrap in paper, not plastic. Put it in a cardboard box and you can ship it to somebody. But after you put fungicide on it, you want this to dry off. You don't want to leave a corm wet or moist and you don't want to wrap it up when it's wet and moist because it'll get corm rot and it'll be no good. About the time it receives its destination in a couple days, this will be rotted and soft. It will not live, and whoever you shipped it to will not be happy. Okay, so here's a sucker. And on this corm that I removed, you see I got the whole corm because this is where it was connected. I got the whole corm, and I have this sucker coming off of it. Okay, I'm going to leave a little bit of roots on here. Don't need all of them. I'm just going to trim them up. Just a little bit like that. And this, this sucker right here. This sucker coming out. You see it broke off when I was removing it. So you could just take this and go like this. You could just cut that off. New growth is going to come out. And that's going to turn into a nice banana plant. So if you want, you could go ahead and clean this up a little bit by just removing some of the darker stuff like that. Always work towards you with your thumb. It don't need much removing. And right in here, I'm just going to remove this little bit right there. And a little bit right here. Just like that, not much. Because that's where fungus growth could begin. So this is nice and clean right here. Look at that. I'm going to put this to the side. Here's the other one. This is where I removed it. I'm just going to take, see, we. it's a whole corm, so I'm just going to go ahead. I mean, there's a sucker in there, so I'm just going to clean up these roots. And the roots have roots coming out of the roots. You see that? So I'm just cleaning it up for no apparent reason. This right here looks like a sucker, and that looks like a sucker. So these are going to be two more plants coming out. So right over here, we don't need this right here. So I'm just going to pull that off. Don't need it. So, I want to clean this up just a little bit. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come down. Hopefully, you can see that. I'm just going to peel this, the part that I just pulled. You see it right here? Well, this here just gets it nice and, nice and neat. I'm being careful not to hit that corn. Okay, and I'll just remove some of the darker stuff right here. Just clean it up a little bit. Okay, so right over here, I'm just going to give this a little slice. Not much, just 
a little bit to clean it. Okay, that strained it up. It cleaned it off. There's no gouges in there. That looks all really nice right now. Here's one more little piece. I'm just going to pull this off. Right there. Just because I want to get this out. So now I could clean that up a little bit the same way I did. Just like this. Seeing it's taken off that dark spot that was in it. Okay, so there was a dark spot there that came off with that layer. This looks really nice. Nice and flat. Got the whole corm. And if you look right here, this looks like a corm. That looks like a corm. This looks like a corm. Now that's a root. This looks like a corm. That looks like a corm. These are roots. But they look like corms. They could be roots too. I don't know. But I'm going to plant this. Okay. So. Okay. So now we have these larger ones. They all look pretty good. I took off some nice roots. It's big. I can leave the roots there, but what I want to do is just basically make sure I clean it up. Any root that's dark or broken, I just want to cut it. Some of these roots with all these little feeder roots on them, I'm going to leave. I just want to make sure that the root system looks good. Okay, this loose one here, I'm going to pull it like that and clean it up. And this one over here, I'm going to pull it and clean it up. Okay, hopefully you can see this down here. Let's see. Okay, you can see what I'm doing right here. Okay, so now I'm going to take the knife and clean this up. Okay, so the part that I pulled, I'm just going to get under it a little bit and pull it off. You see right here, you see it, it's just, you can pull it like that, but the knife helps you ride down on this and get under it a little better, easier. That looks good. Same thing with this one. I'm just going to get this and ride up it like that. It's just easier to get under it. Okay, just like that. See, I'm not damaging that. I'm just coming and taking off the outer part with the knife. So you can put your fingers under it and you can pull it but it's hard and I like to clean it off flush just like if you're gonna pack it up okay so I'm showing you the proper way to do it so I'm removing so like this here I cut it a little bit so I'm gonna remove this one just because I cut it same thing with that one and I'm looking them all over. I'm just making sure all the roots look good. Okay, so this corn is nice and clean. I'm still going to fungicide it. And I left a couple roots with some feeders because this is a, a big uh, sucker. Okay, same thing over here. Okay. So right over here, I'm going to pull this one. I don't need it. Come over here and pull that one. 
Okay, so it's easier to do this to get them off. So you just come down, shave them off. It looks like that's on the camera. With the camera or without, I'd be doing this, but it'd be easier without the camera because I got to make sure I'm right here and it's in view of the camera. I don't mind. Um, I'm going to do it anyway. I just want to show you guys what I do all the time around here. And you can learn by watching. I think some people are going to find this fascinating. What do you think? Put, the, put your comments below if you like seeing this type of thing. Because I do a lot of them. And if you search my channel, you'll see a lot of separating. And each one I separate is different. Look at this one. Remove four. Plus they got multiple suckers coming out of these dissected it got got a whole corn ball right over here <clears throat> that's going to grow multiple out of so i'm doing a lot in this video right here but this is an important step right here cleaning it up like this i could have just took it and put it in the ground or in a pot, maybe it would have got fungus or maybe it wouldn't get fungus or corn rot. Okay, so that's nice and clean. So now I'm just going to look at these roots right here. I don't need that root. These all look pretty good. Like this one right here, it just don't look real good, so I took it off. And this one right here is broke, so I'll cut it where it's broke. This one right here is shaved a little bit. This one's broke. I'll cut it. This one's broke. These are these are broke. Okay, pretty much I cleaned this all up. To me it looks good. I cut off the the pieces that look broke this one could be cut right here and there's some with darker ends on them I'm just gonna take off the dark ends here's a root that split I'm gonna cut it here's a root that split I can get in there and remove those okay so that looks good so I'm leaving this on I'll just go ahead and hose it a little bit, and then we're going to put fungicide on it. So you can kind of see what they look like. Alright, let me hose those off a little bit more, because I want them to be totally clean when I put fungicide on. And I'll be back. Okay, so I have a bowl, I have a clean towel. I'm just going to take some fungicide. That's some copper fungicide. I keep it separate so this don't get contaminated. And when I fill this up, I could use it to arm out because fungicide is pretty expensive. Okay. So I'm just going to take this corn. And I'm going to go ahead and squeeze... See the fungicide dripping off? Well, I squeezed it on that. That's all you need to do. Now over here, I got this one. I'm going to take this. I'm going to squeeze it. Let it drip down. Mm. 
Okay, so you can see it's dripping, it's coated with fungicide. This is copper fungicide. Okay, so take this one right here, same thing. Okay, see it's dripping, that's coated with fungicide. Yeah, let me get this big guy right here, same thing. It's going to go ahead and drip it down. See why I use the bowl? Because it drips into the bowl, and I could just keep sponging it up and getting it on like that. Turn this around, do the same thing here. Okay, fungicide on that. Uh, let me do this last one right here. I'm going to drip the fungicide down it. Turn it over. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so you can see that all the corms attached to the suckers, and even the corm that isn't, is coated with fungicide. I used a clean towel. There's hardly any left. There's probably a little bit on here, but that's okay. You could just take the rest and you could do it on there, but they've done good enough. Now I'm going to go get some pots. Put compost in it, come back over here, and we'll plant them in the pots. But you don't have to do that. You could take this right now, put it on your porch, out of direct sunlight, and you could leave it there for a week or two. It's okay. If you wanted to ship somebody a corn, let's say on this, this is the corn attached. You could cut this plant off right there. And clean it up and just send the bottom part of that corn they can plant it and it will grow when, when companies ship plants you don't ship the whole plant you just ship the corn okay let me get some potted compost and we'll pot these up okay so I went ahead and got some pots filled them up with two or three year old compost now I'm gonna take these suckers and the corn and I'm gonna plant them the larger ones in the larger pot the smaller ones in the smaller pot and the corn in the smallest pot okay so here's the corn and I'm gonna take this corn and I'm just gonna set it in sideways because I separate it like that this is the top hat well this is the top half, that's the bottom half, so I'm going to plant it like this, right here. Okay, I'm just going to take it, set it in. Okay, now I'm going to take the smaller one. And I'm going to pot it right here. Just dig down in the pot, scoop some dirt, put it on the sidewall, put this down in there, backfill it like that. Gonna take the next size smaller corn, do the same thing. And backfill it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this larger corn, 
or sucker, I should say. Scoop some dirt out. Put it down in there, and I'm going to give a turn like that. And when you turn it, it twists those roots around, and it pulls it down. And we're going to do this last one right over here. going to put this down see the roots I'm going to put it down I'm going to give it a twist the roots fell down to the bottom they wrapped now I'm just going to make sure these are packed Okay, so these are planted, and this one don't have to be up straight. It could be like that. That's fine. So now I don't want to water it in until I take chips. I got to get more chips, but basically you take chips, and you put it on there like this. You just fill it up. Okay. So these chips are going to keep weeds from growing and keep the moisture in. So I got to get another bucket so I can fill these up. I'll be back. Okay, so I got more chips. And I'm just going to fill these up. And even put some over that corn. That corn will shoot out a sucker and push those chips up. Okay, so you just seen everything I did. Hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, make some comments below. So in the meantime, hey, this is Sam the Frugal Hugo Gardener. If you liked my video, if you liked my separating, if you like the way that I get down in there and I show you how I'm doing things, and if it helped you any, I want to know, come on over to my Facebook page. Come on over to my Facebook group. We have a new banana group. It's called Florida Banana Lovers. Just go to Facebook and type that in. Or just go down to the description below, click on the link. That will take you over to our Florida Banana Lovers Facebook group or just go to floridabananalovers.com click on that link that will take you over there plus don't forget give me a like give me a share subscribe to my channel you'll see all the upcoming videos some you'll like some you may not like hopefully you like them all anyways with that said hey we'll talk to you soon